I got friends in whole places where the post hole digger and the concrete mix chases my blues away. A dozen 66 cell mission solar panels and eight steel pipes in the ground today. These are all uh, for a ground array. Iron Ridge ULA, ultra large array. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I like when they line up. See, oh, lean, lean. Oh yeah, pretty good. So, let the concrete harden for a couple of days. Come back and cut the tops of the post to be in line with this other array. There'll be a gap between them for walking and such. Those two pipes go on the top of the posts and then the racking system is there and then the panels go on and then the wire is here. Uh, it got broke, but it's fine. <clears throat> and that is all for today. All right. I cut the tops of the post off. There's some scraps I hadn't picked up yet. So the tops of the post line up with the other array. Then primed and painted the posts saw those little saddles they're just sitting there now laid on the 24 foot top rail primed and painted that then I'm gonna pound in a cap it goes on the end here install the u-bolts get this squared up by measuring the distance from here to there and from there to here it should be the same number if not I'll move one of the rails down to make it square then I'll cut the aluminum rails to length, mount the panels on top. That's the plan. All right, we got the rails, not the rails. Well, yeah, this is a rail actually, horizontal rail. Horizontal rail installed. Here's the detail. U-bolts hold on the saddle, cast aluminum saddle, and then set screws, set the uh, friction to the post. Oh, let me get this before the wind gets it. I ordered these caps for this two inch pipe, two and three eighths, it's called. Then I've got one rail installed so far and I will cut the rest of them. And then this uses a bracket and another U-bolt and I'll put that bracket and U-bolt on. And then I've laid out the rails at 40 inches, which is the length of the pipe divided by four columns. 40 inches. <laughs> that math. Math. Mama said your math no good. Well, this math is probably good, so you'll see. Okay, let me cut the rest of these rails. Actually, I cut all four rails at one time. I just leave them in the group, how they're wrapped together. And then uh, the circular saw isn't deep enough to cut this rail wrapped together. I finish with the sawzall. I don't want to cut the whole thing with the sawzall. It takes forever and it's usually crooked. So, use the circular saw to start since I have it with me. And then I use the sawzall to finish it up. All right, keep going. Rinse and repeat. All right, here we are. Got the rails on, tightened down. Everybody everywhere. Let me double check I'm not missing any washers or nuts, etc. These are the rails cut to 130 inches length. Eight rails, four columns, three in a column. So, 12 panels. They're crisscrossed here, waiting to be installed. These are Mission Solar 66 cell. So, a little bit higher voltage and uh, monocrystalline made in San Antonio. All right, we got all 12 panels hooked up. Four strings of three. Four strings. Three strings? Uh, yeah, four strings of three in a front and a string. Oh, jeez. So then, start the commissioning process. I've got my meter here. I'm going to measure the VOC, voltage open circuit, of uh, each of the strings. Articulate the meter with one hand. 129. Okay. 129, roughly. Uh -huh. 28.9. That last string. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, great. Now, the way I, the other thing I'm going to do is turn on the brake oars and 
So that charge controller will wake up inside there. Here in just a second, I'm gonna measure the DC current on each of the strings to make sure that they're the same, whatever they happen to be. It's sunny, it should be full. So, 8, 7, 8, 9, that charge controller might be sweeping to find the maximum power point, 9, 0, 8, 9, uh, let me check this last one, 8, 7, okay, so let me check the first one again, 8, 7, all right, 8 point eight is the average i believe that's what i'm expecting with my normally operating cell temperature of hot it's not super hot but it's hot enough okay i've got a lot of loose cables i have to tie wrap in i use these stainless steel clips flip around here you can see stainless steel clips on the rails stainless steel clips on the panel edge there's one right there, yep. So I'll go back through and put a few more clips in, get some cable ties and tidy up all the cables under the rails, keep everything out of the sun. And then put the cover, the dead front, uh, dead front and cover on this combiner box. And that's a wrap for the day.